What's up everyone? Today we're starting something new. I'm going to be doing daily videos here at the shop on whatever I'm working on. So let's get started. First things first. Oh yeah, I'm ready. First thing today is my buddy Jared's infinity right here. He did a repair to the trunk and the roof. Uh, just some paint repair. It was peeling. I would have to say this is my favorite thing to do at the shop. It's like opening up a present Christmas morning. Also another perk to working at the shop, you get to drive all the cars. I'm getting this thing moved out the way so we can get Jared's car out of the booth. Usually I just get everything out of the booth in case if my dad's got a plan to paint something else today, the booth would be free. Here are the headlights. I went ahead and wet sanded them from a 400 grit all the way up to 5,000 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and buff these real quick and get them in the car. All right. And there we go, all buffed out, fresh, brand new. Ah, now I'm gonna just give it a nice little complimentary wipe down just to remove all the dust that we had gotten on the car just from doing all the body work and everything. What I'm using is a ceramic spray. This stuff is like liquid gold. This trunk ended up getting a little dusty, so I'm gonna just blow it out and clean it off a little bit. I'm gonna put his headlights up in here so when he gets home, he can go ahead and install them. This is the next car, it's a DL1 Camaro. We're gonna be clay barring, buffing, and polishing the entire thing, getting it back to perfection. So let's get on this. Oh my God, woke up the whole town. So this here is our detail cart. We bring this outside and it's got all the stuff on it that we need to detail a car. And we're going outside. Oh my goodness! Since the car is so new, we're not going to do any decontamination or anything like that. We're just going to hit it with this clay bar wash mitt and some soap and some clay spray. And we'll try and get all of the iron and everything off of the paint and we'll get to polishing. Here's a little trick for you guys washing cars at home. As you're hosing the car off, drop the soap right above the water. And it's like a, uh, I wouldn't say a foam cannon, but it gets the soap all over the car for you. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to wash it first with the regular side. As we go around the entire car, I'm going to come back and clay bar it. Look at that color in the sun, man. I wish one of those super fast drying towel companies would sponsor me because I would definitely be using one of those right now. All right, so now that we've got the car all cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and polish it with a Rupes, and I'm using this Ultra Finishing Polish by Rupes. This stuff is the shiz, I'm telling you. I'm going to spread it around, go around that one area that we're working. And once you get it all around, you go slower. You just go back and forth. So as I was polishing this fender, I realized that there was a dent kind of closer towards the door. So we took care of it for the customer. I called my dent guy. This is Jason Abney with Dent Works. He's literally like a magical wizard. You can see him taking it out like nothing happened. He comes to you. He's mobile. He's got a whole setup in the back of his truck. If you're in the southern Louisiana area and you need somebody to pop a dent out for you, definitely give Jason a holler. He's good at this stuff. While I take a break from polishing that ZL1, I figured now is a good time to show you guys our latest project finished up from the shop. This is one of our customers, 57 Chevy Bel Air, and we completely stripped it down all the way to the bare metal and redid all of the body work. Also did the paint work on it. This car came out so beautiful. The paint is just glistening off of this thing. It's got an LS in it with a fully custom chassis underneath it. It's got a beautiful interior in it. It's not all the way finished just yet. But our job is done with the paintwork and all of the bodywork that was done to it. You can see as you look down at how slick this thing is, it came out so nice. Here's underneath the engine bay, looking so clean. Color matched intake with a bunch of polished parts to match all the chrome, along with the polished wheels. We did a cream color roof to accent the burnt orange color on the car. It's crazy we just had this thing completely stripped down like a few weeks ago now here it is completely finished and redone finally getting to almost being finished polishing the car I just wanted to point out how big this freaking wing is look at this thing it's massive
All right, now we've got this thing looking brand new, all polished, slicked out. Now it's time to put our Ardex Topaz Wax. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it by hand. We're gonna put two coats of this stuff to make sure it's heavily protected. Oh yeah, check that out. Like some cheese or butter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Circular motions, I don't wanna get it all caked up in the cracks. It's so hot out here right now, my phone just shut off and went into overheat mode just from sitting outside. So I went ahead and I wiped that first coat off. I'm gonna go ahead and coat it again with some wax and then we're gonna repeat this process all over the car and then we'll see what it's looking like when it's all waxed. Let's check it out. We've got this thing fully waxed, fully slicked out. It looks beautiful. Now it is five o'clock. I've got everything picked up and that's pretty much a full day of work for me over here at the shop. Tomorrow I'll pick back up on this thing. We're gonna pop the wheel off, get the curve situated on the rim and then repaint that and then move to another cool project around here. All right, see y'all tomorrow. That's a wrap.